This is Maryam. She is 16 years old, an Indonesian Muslim living with her parents and younger brother. In the next 15 seconds, she is going to leave Islam. This is why. Indonesia, the largest Muslim country in the world with over 200 million Muslims. But this is changing. Approximately 2 million people in Indonesia leave Islam for Christianity every year. Statistics from the International Crisis Group 2012 indicate that if the growth continues at its current rate, by 2035, it would cease to be a Muslim majority country. This is an alarming situation and begs one to consider, why is this the case? Why are people not satisfied with Islam? Why are they willing to abandon Allah? There are people in Indonesia that have a very limited access to Islamic knowledge. The main exposure to Islam is through Friday sermons, which on many occasions they do not understand or cannot relate to. Christian missionaries across Indonesia are taking advantage of this situation and propagating their ideologies. They operate TV stations dealing with social problems. They operate Samaritan helplines responding to the concerns of the youth. They are holding their sermons on Friday instead of Sunday. They recite their book in the same style as the Quran. They use Islamic terminologies in their language such as Salah, Iman, and even Allah. Maryam is not happy at home. Her parents often argue. It makes her feel suffocated and depressed. Watching TV and sharing her problems with the helpline helps her shut away her problem and gives her a sense of peace. Her friends often invite her along to concerts organized by the local church groups. She perceives them as her new family, who give her a feeling of love and support. Maryam is on the brink of leaving Islam. A lot of her friends already have and are encouraging her to join them. She feels a sense of belonging, a purpose to her life. Millions of others have either converted or are about to convert. How do we prevent this? Maryam is not just a person. Maryam symbolizes a whole generation of Indonesians today. We need to save Maryam. We need to start at the grassroots level. The problem lies in a lack of Islamic knowledge resulting in poor faith. So we want to launch the country's first Islamic youth TV channel, which will share the message of Islam in a way the youth of today can understand and want to understand. We want to start a community helpline, engaging the nation of Indonesia on the religious and social aspects of their lives. We want to preach less and listen more. We want to hear the voices of our youth as they struggle with the many social challenges of modern life and respond accordingly. We recognize that today we do not have the same budgets as them, but with your help, we can at least take the first step. To start making a change, we need to raise $2 million. This is how we plan to do it. Many Muslims are unaware of this situation in Indonesia. It is time we let them know. It's time to stop taking comfort that Indonesia is the largest Muslim country in the world. As with every day that goes by, it moves one step closer to losing that position. We need to raise awareness of the Save Maryam campaign all around the world through the use of social networks and word of mouth. Do whatever it takes print posters, hold events, and tell everybody. Share this video on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and any other social networking sites you use. Blog about it, tweet about it, and get your friends to do the same. The more people who know about it, the easier it will be to reach our target. Our aim is to bring Islam back into the lives of Indonesian Muslims. Join us in our mission. Save Maryam. Save Maryam. Save Maryam. Save Mariam. Save Mariam. Save Mariam. Save Mariam. Save Mariam.